In 2011, the Kopanang Secondary School in Vidbank was labelled dysfunctional by the Department of Education and was on the brink of closing its doors after matric pupils achieved a mere 13% pass rate. Learners at Kopanang Secondary School reside in severely impoverished communities and face desperate socioeconomic challenges. Following a commitment from Lindau Colliery to help transform the school and improve the level of education, the pass rate has improved year on year and by 2015, the school recorded an astounding 95 percent pass rate. However, for there to be any real improvement, Lindau realized that they had to boost the morale and build team spirit among all stakeholders, including teachers and learners, the school management team and governing body. Interventions were centered on leadership training, mentorship provided through employee volunteerism, revision camps for students, life skills, training and supplementary classes. Relationship with Kopanang uh, Secondary School, it's a uh, one, helping them with the current infrastructure that they have, uh, enabling them to have a good learning environment. Secondly, is to try and improve the quality of education that they have. Uh, we've donated some smart bots that will create a good learning experience for them, where they link with other schools, best, best schools in the country through use of technology. So our relationship is basically to enable uh, the Copenhagen community to have better education and build their own future. The Anglo, they introduced us to this smart board where they will view a lesson. Every Tuesday they will view the maths, every Thursday they will view the science. And this is a Bumalanga uh, school project where one person in MLO is conducting this lesson and then learners can view that person and all the schools are participating. So with that, learners are eager to say, I want to give an answer if it is us because I want to show that in our school we are doing better than other schools. So that motivates them. Anglo-American has been helping the school pretty much because it has been arranging workshops for the grade 12 learners to go to Anglo to do some practicals, maybe in chemistry, physical science and some motivational speakers have came to the school to motivate grade 12 learners so that they can continue to have their dream. I'm currently studying at Vets University. I'm the former student of Copenhagen Senior Secondary School. Uh, Anglo has been helping me a lot yeah? from, from the time I was here at school. Like Bang Sizili Akulu. Uh, they, 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 came 14. I'm a student. It was 2014. They did it like first term and second term. During this camp, like they will provide them my teachers, my extra teachers who will teach me, who will teach us actually, general. Basfundisa, uh, yeah, like we must revise this. My past paper, it's prepare for like my exam, final exams. Yeah, I can say that Anglo is not the school. What I can say is that uh, our school comes from a very difficult time where we experience results dropping from, it was not even high, it was from 49% and then to 11%. So that itself was not a good thing. The staff was not united at that time. Those who wanted to teach, they teach. Those who do not want to go to classes, they do not want to go to classes. And then afterwards, we met Anglo and we were introduced to them. And then they started to make um, uh, arrangements of team buildings. When they build their stuff, they would then take us somewhere and then they will then make us understand what are we here for. And then the mindset of all the teachers started changing and they focused in one area, which is one goal for the whole school, that we want to improve results of this school. And then ever since, we've never looked back. And through to their, from their assistant, we've been reaching the sky, reaching the sky. I know that we have dropped last year, but it was not the major drop and we still want to improve more. It, it was more of a compelling story that they presented to us. The school was seen to be dysfunctional, coming from the results that they obtained around 2011. And uh, it, it came to us as that we, we cannot miss a, a, an opportunity to help where the need is. So looking at where they were and what we wanted to achieve, it, it, it fitted in perfectly. 
uh, with what we wanted to achieve as, a, as an organization with them. The school is surrounded by the place that sells liquor and the school is also surrounded by the hostel. Many learners are staying in the hostel. Many learners during weekends, they go and buy the booze where they are selling the booze. So that itself was the contributing factor of why the learners fail. And then when we in, were introduced to Anglo, we then decided what is it that we can do in order to improve the results of the school. And then the camp came in. When we started the camp, we never looked back. Our results just go up and up and up. I'm from the poor background, right? So like my parents wouldn't afford to pay fees. Like fees at VEGE, like they are very high. So like I, I can say e Anglo in are cool because they are paying like my fees like fully. Like they fully pay my fees, rest, everything. I, I think it's fine. Yes, I'm grateful for them. Happy about uh, the number of learners that are going to university, but the contributing factor of those who could not go to university is that maybe they do not get the sponsor, they do not get the pastor. So with that, we also try, maybe they can try other things rather than staying at home. But the majority of those learners that performed very well are able to attend at the university and they get the sponsorship from Anglo. I want to study medicine, I want to be a general practitioner. We went to the University of Pretoria, I think this year it was May, then we went to the campus to see what was happening. It really inspired me because we met learners who are doing medicine, so I, I got the, ch the chance to ask them questions on how is the degree. It really motivated me because I saw that the campus was, was a good environment. We started uh, around 2012, so that uh, makes it about five years since we've been with them, where we went through uh, different phases of enabling the school to be able to perform at the levels that they're currently performing at. I was motivated when the two ladies from Anglo came to our school then. I've forgotten their names, but they came to our school to motivate us and told us that it's not easy. If you want to succeed in life, you have to work hard. They've told us about their stories, where they come from, and how they became what they are today. So yeah, that motivated me a lot, and it made me feel that your background doesn't determine where you're going. This day in 2014, November, whereby the CEO of Anglo came in to visit us. And he told us that at the varsity level, he did chemical engineering. So like, I'm being motivated because they are not the business sense, like, they motivated, they gave me inspiration. So I wanted to be like him. I, that's why I chose chemical engineering. What we, what we have realized is that only focusing on Kopanang, uh, we can only touch so many number of people. We, we would like to extend our sphere of influence by touching even further. So we're still doing some groundwork. I cannot be, uh, be able to mention the name of the school as we're still busy trying to, to put uh, all the groundwork together. And then we can extend our, our program to that next school. These days it's very rare to find a child who finishes school and continue with her future and do something which is I don't know what's, how to explain it. It is very hard to find something like that. So they are very proud of me because I know what I want for, for the future. Babo, I'm a result to Anglo. Babo, I'm a good teacher as a pomelel and stuff towards our education. So they think, I, I think they, they do take it serious because they don't just hear from I'm a teacher as my but then they see, they see us like being successful towards reaching our goal. The way it started, uh, we looked at we can pump in as much money on infrastructure that, as we can, but it doesn't end there. Uh, one, the learning environment must be conducive for, this, for the kids to be able to, to, to learn. Secondly, the teachers themselves, are, are they operating at the required level in order for them to impart the knowledge to the kids or not? So we realized that there seems to be a gap in terms of the level of um, knowledge and quality that comes from the teachers to the to the students and hence the departure point for us it was we need to capacitate the teachers and then also get the learners to, to move to the right level to be able to receive what is being imparted to them by the teachers.
For more stories like these, visit our website www.social-tv.co.za.